Google Sites and Google Docs. Those teachers that have always wanted a website for their class, but too scared to try it because they're afraid of the technology or the coding involved, that, that was gone two years ago. Okay, So let me show you what you can do to build a website using the understanding that you have now of just word processing documents. You're used to Microsoft Word, you're used to Excel, whatever. You can actually use all this good information to make a website. Here's an, here's an example. Here's a document on Google Docs. Okay, It has links, pictures, and more links and more pictures. But to place this on the internet would have been hard in the past. You would have had to use Dreamweaver, you would have had to use some magic and mojo and that that stuff's over with. So let's go to sites. Okay, here's a site I created. This is a site for my uh, digital media class. So what happens is every week they get a new update. Week one this is kind of like the educator view, so it shows the goals and the standards being covered. Okay. Also it has links to videos for them. The students see tasks. And here's that Photoshop document. Okay. This is that level one over here. So check this out. Since it's a Google document, all I do is have to go over to it. Let's say I go over here and add a two after it. Okay, it instantly saves, and then I can go back to the website, which is this one, and I can hit refresh. Right-click reload. Bam, there's the two. That was pretty easy, right? So this is the preview video to show you that it exists and how easy it really is. As long as you can edit a word type document, you can basically build a website. Reload. There it is. Now you can share a lot of different types of media also. So none of, all the information I taught you in the past three or four videos all relates back to this. As long as you know how to update your Word or Microsoft documents or whatever and upload them as to Google Docs, you can create the website. And as long as you know the different types of media that you can drag in, you can update your website. So let's look at making a website in the next video.